What's up folks? Welcome to Woodworking Against the Grain. Look here, it's cold outside and I'm hungry for cookies. So we're going to make us up a batch of Neiman Marcus cookies here right quick. I don't know if you've ever had a Neiman Marcus cookie, but it's off the chain. It's an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie to make you want to slap your mama. Now I don't recommend you slap your mama because that's ugly. I just recommend you make a cookie good enough to make you want to slap your mama. And this is one of them. Right here in the old food processor, I got two and a half cups of rolled oats. I'm going to grind these up to a pretty fine powder, and I'm going to mix them with these two cups of flour right over here. That's what we're going to do to get started. Be patient with this noise. You can kind of do this to whatever consistency you really want to. You can make it uh, kind of coarse, or you can grind it on down until it's pretty fine. I like to leave it a little bit coarse because I like the texture of that a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to pulse this just a couple of more times. And we're going to call that good. And I'm going to unplug this thing, take the top off of it. Be careful when you, I hope you've got one of these things if you, if you do very much chopping or processing these are pretty handy to have around be careful with that blade there though because that's that's pretty sharp now once you get that ground up about like you want it and this is not real fine I don't like it real fine uh, just pour that in with your flour now rest of this recipe is pretty pretty typical Get all my parts to my mixer out here. In the mixer, we got two sticks of butter going in. Room temperature butter. We're going to turn that on, let it whoop up a little bit, and get kind of creamy. Y'all thought I'd run off, but here I am. Once this butter gets kind of creamed up a little bit here, we're going to add to it some eggs and some uh, a cup of brown sugar, a firm packed cup of brown sugar, and a cup of white sugar before we do anything with this dry stuff over here. This recipe makes quite a few cookies, so be prepared for that. Set your oven on 375. It's going to take 10 minutes a batch. Get you a couple of cookie sheets going so you can kind of rotate them out because if you make them small enough, you're going to be baking cookies for a little while. But like I said a while ago, it's cold outside. It's raining. Really not anything else to do right now. To make some cookies. Get this butter creaming. Kind of slow. We're going to add a cup of white sugar. To that white sugar and that butter, we're going to add a whole cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. That's going to make it some good stuff right there. While that's creaming to our dry ingredients here, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of baking soda. Now if that didn't have rough cut oats in it, I'd recommend that you sift it. Since it does, it won't go through a sifter. So what we're going to do is just take our spatula and just kind of stir this flour into these oats to get our, our other dry ingredients kind of mixed up in there. You don't want all your baking soda in one spot. All your baking powder in one spot. Kind of mix your dry ingredients up pretty good there. Get that going. You got two whole eggs we're going to add right here. One at a time, just like making a cake. Let that mix in there good. Got a teaspoon of good vanilla extract right there. Add that right on into the mix. Over here we've got one 12 ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. That's chocolate chips to you. Right here we got a little better than a cup chopped pecans. 
All right, we're going to start spooning in our dry stuff here. And this is going to get real thick. It's not going to be like a batter at all. It's going to be cookie dough. Tell everybody if you eat these Neiman Marcus cookies that you're, they're healthy because they got whole grain oats in them. That'll get the health nut police off your back maybe. Just add that dry stuff in there, a spoonful at a time. This is going to get really thick and it's going to make kind of a ball to work with. Get it down there a little bit, you can just dump the rest of it in. They ain't got to be pretty. That's some good stuff right there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this bowl full of chocolate chips. All that's going to do is make it extra yummy. Add the nuts. We're going to give that just a little bit more of a slow stir. This makes a pretty good sized batch of cookies. And this is half of the original recipe anyway. The whole recipe makes enough to feed a log rolling. I don't know if you've ever had a log rolling, but that's a lot of folks, they say. Now, we're going to get a couple of cookie sheets. We're going to, I'm going to show you how about the right size to roll these out. How many of them to put on a cookie sheet at one time, we'll bake them. See how good they are when they come out. Hang loose. The way I like to roll these out, I like to get a little bit of coconut oil and let it melt on my hands. That way this dough doesn't stick to you quite as bad. Butter will work too. Then, I got three cookie sheets here. Small, medium, and a large. You just want to paint some of this off. You want to roll that up to just a little bit smaller than a golf ball because they spread out. Don't flatten these like a peanut butter cookie. Just put them on the cookie sheet, give them about two inches room. That one probably is as big as a golf ball. You can make them whatever size you want to. Really doesn't, there's no rule about that. <coughs> no cookie size rules that I know of. Make them however big or small you want to make. But give them room on the cookie sheet to flatten out. Because when you put them in the oven, the first thing that happens, that butter melts and this runs down and gets level. So give them plenty of room on the cookie sheet. We're just going to roll these out, fill up these cookie sheets, put them in a 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. If you want them crispy, Leave them 11 or 12. If you like them a little bit chewy, 10 minutes is where you're going to want to pull them out. Set a timer, because you'll forget about them, you'll burn them up. And that wouldn't be good. Be right back. All right, we got these cookies out of the oven. They turned out pretty good. That one there is still warm and chewy. That's the way I like them. Best way to eat these with a good hot cup of coffee. When it, Next time you ain't got anything doing, it's cold and raining outside. Whoop you up a batch of these Neiman Marcus cookies. See all the chocolate in that? That's a little piece of heaven right there. Thanks for watching. Come back to see us.